Hey everybody, it's Tina Watkins and Kim Krebs from In Hand Equine Therapy. Today we're working on this lovely gelding um, that has a little bit of stifle weakness and we thought popping on to give a little tip might be um, an excellent thing to help you guys, especially as we head into winter and we're looking at alternatives to being able to ride outside um, as we get stuck indoors here in Canada. This um, horse here is um, just re-strengthening um, through some stifle weakness, which a lot of horses have stifle weakness. For us as body workers, we do a couple assessments for stifle weakness. Um, one, uh, being a medial lateral movement through the stifle. We don't recommend this to our clients, but I did want to show it to you because I want to show you what we're going to use to strengthen this and allow you guys to see the difference that it can make. Now when we're doing assessments, oh he's listening to me because he's getting square, I was going to say when we're doing assessments as body workers, we love to have the horse on a firm flat surface and as square as possible, so I'll just see if he'll load both hinds here for us. I'm just going to grasp the stifle here in my hand and I'm just going to move it from side to side. And Kim, is that picking up well on the video? Can you see the kind of... Um, jiggly movement there, yeah. really light pressure. I'm not torquing on this joint, that's not our job. Um, but this is just an assessment. Do you see how um, relaxed and, and kind of jiggly the muscle is, but also how much the leg itself is turning. So maybe even if you could view this portion of the leg as I turn it, can we see how everything's moving there? One of my favorite things to use for stability are these TheraBands. Um, they are a um, human um, exercise device. They're just literally closed cell foam. And I use them a lot on horses because the size of them is really indicative to allow the horse's hoof to get on safely and um, for the horse to be able to feel secure when standing on them. What we do, this horse is just being introduced to the TheraBands. Today's his first day of using them. And Kim and I noticed such a big difference as we were working on this horse. We thought this would be a great uh, little video to show on um, how effective these are. They do come in two different um, thicknesses of foam, not thicknesses, uh, densities, I guess is a better way to say it. They're both the same um, thickness um, for depth. But density, one is much firmer, um, and then the other one is softer. They actually, um, we want to start with the firmest one and move on to the softer one. When standing on a firm surface, it's easy enough for your body. Um, but as soon as we have to stand on something that has a little different density to it, you'll find that your body has to use its stabilizers different. So this green one I'm sinking into a little bit and I have to use my stabilizers a bit. The blue one I sink into significantly and so I have to use my stabilizers throughout my body and my core tissue um, at a greater rate. So we do always start horses with the firmer one first and then move on to the um, softer one second. But I did want to just show you guys what a difference this can make just even in a couple sessions and how important it is to spend time with your horse. On my particular horse, I use these uh, TheraBands. She's now at the spot where she, um, my personal horse, can stand on four of them at the same time. And I literally put her on them and then do my grooming. So she is um, able to work on those little stabilizers um, when I am doing my grooming on her. So it doesn't take me any extra time in my riding day because I know how busy we all are. So here, I'm just going to put the foot up. I might get Kim to come around to this other side or on the, on the side view just so you guys aren't staring at my back as we do this. I'm just going to pick his foot up. I'm going to place the TheraBand under. I'm going to see if I can find a comfortable place for him to stand on it. There you can see we've, we've had this horse do this once before the video. This is his second time on the TheraBand. So they're not scary for him, but you can see how much his foot is sinking into that. Maybe from the toe view, Kim will be able to really get a good idea of how his foot is sinking into that TheraBand. Okay. So, he, and people often say to me, well, big deal. So he's standing on that. So what? 
Well, if you guys watch here, if we get Kim coming back to the front again, I'm gonna do the exact same exercise and you can see I can pull a lot harder and he, now he's coming weight bearing off. I'll just ask him one more time. Instead of pulling him, sorry to go in front of the camera, instead of pulling him with his tail, I often try to just use the front leg pickup so that he's not getting pulled off balance as he goes to stand on it. Good boy. Okay, and if I come here and just see if he'll let us, I'm going twice as hard as I was before. And you can see there's absolutely no movement. So that entire leg has been turned on, both medial and lateral stabilizers, as well as through the stifle. So th that tissue is literally working just as he's standing here. Absolutely super exercise to add to your program. And if you had any questions, if this is an appropriate exercise for your particular horse, um, we at In Hand Equine Therapy would love to hear from you. Um, we're always looking to help people. Um, both Kim Krebs and myself, Tina Watkins, um, are available on our social media sites, InHandEquineTherapy.com. And if you're interested in any of our online um, uh, courses, we do have our online platform on InHandEquineTherapy.podia.com. We look forward to seeing you guys on another visit to horses. Bye for now.